Japanese scientists just cloned a few hundred mice from a single drop of blood. Just how far has cloning come? Anthony here for D News, and the Riken Bioresource Center has just created 600 exact clones of a single mouse from just a drop of blood. Now, cloning is done usually through a process called somatic cell nuclear transfer. The nucleus of an adult cell is placed into an unfertilized egg that's had its own nucleus removed, and then an electric shock is applied, and the egg divides and starts forming these embryonic stem cells. That is the Dolly the Sheep method, and we've talked about it in some other videos. The problem with SCNT is that the preferred type of cell used has been cumulus cells, which are super rare, or cells from lymph nodes and bone marrow, and retrieving any of those can damage or kill the donor animal. Now that's not optimal when your goal is to preserve a lab animal with specific genetic traits. If it dies and then the transfer doesn't work, you've lost all the work for your experiment. And that's very possible, since only about 10% of the transfers create a viable clone. So the team at Riken wanted to find an easier, cheaper, safer way to clone animals. And they decided to see if white blood cells could work. And they found that two types, called granulocytes and monocytes, made viable clones 2% of the time. Now, 2% does not sound like a lot, but until a few years ago, even the cumulus cells that scientists love so much only work about 3% of the time. And that inefficiency in the white blood cells is offset by just how many nuclei you can get in a single drop of blood. Now scientists can easily reproduce a specific animal over and over and over and make experiments more accurate. And as the procedure gets cheaper, it can be used in agriculture. So a specific line of cow could be reproduced for its beef quality or its milk yield. And this is particularly interesting because you might remember that just a couple months ago, scientists created the first cloned human embryo. The idea being that stem cells from that embryo could be used to make people personalize therapy from their own DNA. So creating clones from blood cells could theoretically make that whole process cheaper and easier. So how far away are we from a complete human clone? Well, we're not sure. The team that made that embryo was very quick to point out that they didn't think that it could become a baby. And even if they thought it could, it would be hard to carry out that experiment because current laws in the US and the EU don't allow public funding for reproductive cloning experiments. Some states and countries don't even allow cloning specific organs. In the meantime, the ability to more easily create lab and farm animal clones is a huge breakthrough on its own. But just between us though, do you think we're ready for human cloning? Creeps me out, but I'm kinda down with it. Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.